My name is Nathan Sturdivant, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate some of the work that will be available as part of my systems, a system demonstration at ICAPS 2021. This demonstration is showcasing the demos that I've made as part of a heuristic search course on single agent search. And so this, uh, not only are the demos available online, but also a course outline and videos for that course. So you can find here um, a list of all the lectures and the demos that correspond to those lectures. There are some lectures that do not have uh, demos associated with them currently, but um, here we can also just go and look at the list of demonstrations here and see what is available. And so I don't want to necessarily go through all these details. I could spend quite a bit of time talking about uh, how they are used and pieces like that, but I just want to give a quick overview of some of these to give an idea of the variety of things that are available here. So I'm going to start out by looking, for instance, at the pancake puzzle. So this is looking at a standard domain that is often used as a test domain, and uh, we can see some citations of where that has come from. And we can interact with this by you know, shifting pancakes around. I can also randomize the puzzle and then work on trying to solve the puzzle myself. And if I choose to do that, oops, I clicked that wrong, um, then what we'd see here is at the end, it's actually going to tell me um, how many moves it's taken me to solve the puzzle in comparison to what the optimal solution would be. And this is very helpful for allowing students to get a sense of how hard are these problems, the optimization problems that are often being solved, or the shortest path problems that are being solved here. So in this case, it took me 22 moves, well, the optimal was 14. And I can even ask a solver here to go ahead and do this for me automatically. So this is a fun task for students to explore and to try to understand the difficulty of some of these domains. And you can even look at, for instance, the gap heuristic, trying to be greedy with a gap heuristic when solving this puzzle. Uh, so we also have the sliding tile puzzle here, and there similarly, you can try to solve that. It'll give you bounds on the solution that you find compared to the optimal solution. Um, another example here would be just basic algorithms such as depth first search and depth first iterative deepening. And here we can uh, vary the size of the tree. So we can look at different branching factors from very high branching factors to very low branching factors. And we can choose which algorithms are running. So here I'm going to run depth first search and depth first iterative deepening. What I often do with my students is I say, put the goal somewhere. So there's a little blue dot down here. Uh, but where would you put the goal for depth first search to work really well? And that would be down here. And so we could run that and we can watch depth first search has already found the goal where the depth first iterative of deepening is still continuing to search. But if I were to move the goal over onto this side, then we see the depth first iterative of deepening is going to find the goal very quickly where the depth first search is going to have to go through the entire tree plus at greater depths than where the goal actually is. So this is very useful in understanding exponential trees. We could also turn on breadth first search here. And here we might understand like termination conditions for breadth first search. Could we have terminated faster uh, based on different assumptions in the tree uh, than this version here? Uh, we also have videos here. So here's a video that goes over what happens when we're doing search on um, uniform cost trees. Sorry, I'm going to pause that. Um, and a citation here to Rich Cork's paper that goes over the uh, ideas here in some detail and introduce them from 1985. So this is a very basic algorithm, but there's also more advanced algorithms here. So uh, we have things like IDA star. And with IDA star, what we're able to do is um, we can watch IDA star run. We can see the different F cost levels that are in the tree. So for instance, the red versus the cyan versus the red. We can click here on the tree and we can interactively see uh, what the actual state is in the state space. We can also see where transpositions occur across this tree uh, between a node like this one and a node like this one. And we can auto run the algorithm. We can look at how the F cost bound is being updated um, as it searches and see a lot of other details, the heuristic that's being used and things like that. There's also, um, more advanced algorithms, so for instance, IBEX or budgeted tree search is an improved version of IDA star. 
I won't go into that here, but there's enough detail here that you could you know, watch this and be able to help re-implement the algorithm from looking at the behavior here. You could also demonstrate the worst case behavior of IDA star. Um, here, I'm gonna show you a demo of actually an embedding. So this is an algorithm by Liron Cohen, a part of Sven Koenig's group. And it's showing how we can take a two-dimensional map on the left-hand side here and how this map corresponds to, uh, on the right-hand side, an embedding of that map in two-dimensional space. And this two-dimensional space actually allows us to get heuristics for search back in the original space. We can look at how um, different types of maps embed differently. So a random map will embed much differently than, for instance, a, uh, a maze will. And so we can see those differences and try to understand those differences there. And we can also see demos of things like, um, let's take a look at jump point search. So uh, jump point search on a grid map. We can, for instance, look at the canonical ordering that is used. And um, so here, if I click, I can see the canonical ordering. This is the initial canonical ordering from the start state out until it reaches the jump point. So we can show where these jump points are and then we can show, show the full canonical ordering. And down below, we have several lectures that go over uh, what Jump Point Search is doing here. And then again below, we see some related publications, including one from ICAPS 2021 about how to do Jump Point Search with temporal obstacles. And so overall here, there's quite a wide range of demos that are available showcasing heuristics. Generally, what we see here is we see a number of algorithms, then we see a number of heuristics. So for pattern databases, we look at pattern databases, pattern databases with compression. And we look at, um, for instance, then how do we do uh, heuristics in polynomial domains? Uh, the course itself looks at compression. We look at other constraints that can be applied during search, as, long as, as well as a number of theoretical demos. And some of these have been turned into games where you can try and play the game, identify a state that has a certain property or pairs of states that have certain properties. And so these are uh, all very interactive and they're all very useful in uh, experientially looking at single agent search. So this is the demo that's available. Anybody can use this given that they have a web browser, it's publicly available. The videos are all on YouTube. So anybody can also watch the videos to get more information. And I'm continually, continually updating these as I do my research, um, as others do other interesting research, uh, I put those up as well. And um, continuing also to build just materials around being able to use these and to be able to use the demo as well. And so hopefully this is interesting to people. We thank you for taking a look at this and you're welcome to explore it and see how well this would work as a, as a demo at ICAPS 2021. So thank you for your time.